it pains me to say this, but Mark Bonner has been sacked from Cambridge United Football Club. It's sad, it's sad, you know, like, that man has brought this football club so many memories that our fans will never, ever forget. And it's just sad the way it's ended, it's sad that it's ended, but I'm even more sad that I will not be able to sing We've Got Supermarket Bonner anymore. It's, it's sad, but it had to happen, I think. The run of form recently has not been good enough. The uh, the performances haven't been up to a good enough standard. Like I've never ever left a game early. Yeah, I left the game early. I'm going home. I'm going home. Here, Bobby, Lincoln. we've I've gone. Right, it's half time. Me and Matt are off again <laughs> because I simply couldn't watch it. it I couldn't watch the football that we were playing. Now, hopefully, we can appoint a manager that we can introduce a new play style to, and hopefully, performances will get better and we'll get more results. Obviously, Barry Core is the interim manager at the moment. Um, Kevin Betsy is uh, leading the bookies' favourites at the moment. I would not like to see Betsy involved in the first manager role. I think I'd kind of like the Cowleys to step in. A lot of great memories over the years. I put a question up on Twitter. What is your favourite memory from Mark Bonner? And I got a lot of Borough fans replying to that, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. But but the minority <laughs> but the minority of replies were from the Cambridge fans. And a lot of different moments stand out, actually. Obviously, you've got the Newcastle away win, which is probably one of the best moments as a Cambridge fan in a long time, beating Newcastle at St James's Park. You can't get much better than that. A very, very big cup upset. Beating Ipswich away at Portman Road. Um, that atmosphere was electric from minute one to minute 90. It was phenomenal. The limbs were absolutely class. And that, to me, was my favourite game. And also, I just want to say... The pre-match atmosphere at Peterborough away last season when Bonner come out and clap the fans for the support, that I will never forget. That is what you want from a manager. It's, it's going to be hard to find a manager so involved in the club yet again as Bonner was. And I've got to put a quote on the screen now of what Bonner said. I don't know it off the top of my head, but it's on the screen right now. And it's so heartfelt. His boyhood club is Cambridge United. He had a dream when he was 10 to manage Cambridge United. That dream came true. And Mark Bonner, he's sadly gone now. But we can look back on the good times and look forward to the future. What does that mean for the future of the club? Um, well, Barry Corr steps in as interim manager. We're still currently on the lookout for a manager. We host Fleetwood tomorrow in the second round of the FA Cup. It's going to be interesting to see how Barry Corr sets out the team now that Mark Bonner's gone. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a few new faces in the starting eleven and a few familiar faces dropped, no doubt. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, I was not going to go to the game tomorrow, but I am going to go now just to showcase it for you guys and see what it's like when the manager gets sacked around the stadium, the vibe and stuff like that. Bonner's been sacked. Doesn't give us a lot of time. Obviously, we've got the winter transfer window to come. Um... Hopefully, our manager at the time, hopefully Ainsworth or the Cowleys or whatever, will bring in a few winter improvements um, and strengthen the team. But this could also be a bad thing because I know a lot of the players had a good connection with Bonner and think it's the wrong choice. But yeah, you never know how it could affect the players. You know, I think a lot of players really thrived off of Mark Bonner. Um, I think, obviously, regular viewers of this channel know how much I love James Brophy. I think Bonner put a lot of trust into Brophy um, to start most games week in, week out. But I just don't know if a new manager could put that same trust in Brophy, lowering his morale, lowering his motivation to work harder. I don't know. It could end up sour. It could end up sweet. We will see. We'll find out. Time will tell. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a big, big, big change at Cambridge United. And I'm not sure if it's a positive change. It could end up being a very negative change. We could, it could bite us in the arse. I'm sorry, but it could bite us in the arse. It could come back and haunt us at the end of the season. Um, but we're praying it doesn't. Hopefully it was the right call. I think it, could, I think it was the right call. You can see with the performances and the post-match interviews that... Time was running out with Bonner, and I think this was a good time to call it off. Um, but yeah, wraps up today's video. I think the right call was sacking Mark Bonner, of course. 
everyone within the club is gutted that he's gone. It hurts, you know, so many years in charge, so connected to the club, it hurts. And uh, with the new training ground, he didn't have much time to endure that. And he is one of the main, he is one of the main person that would have thrived for that training ground. And that saddens me. But Mark Bonner has been sacked from Cambridge United. And it's a new era. It's a new era in Cambridge United Football Club. And hopefully a good era. Hopefully we can start picking up points, start picking up places in the league and start improving. Hopefully we can see better football. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, gutted that he's gone, but it is what it is. If you did enjoy this video, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know in the comments your thoughts about the sacking of Mark Bonner. Um, I will see you tomorrow for Fleetwood at Home in the FA Cup. See you later, guys.